This tutorial discusses the various options for modeling water pressure in Rockplane. Let's start with the default model that appears when you open Rockplane. Select Analysis, Input Data. We will keep the default slope and upper face values in the Geometry tab unchanged. In the Geometry tab, change the failure plane angle to 37 degrees. Click on Apply. Notice that the factor of safety changes from 1 to 0 0.929207. Select the Water tab and click on the Plain Water Pressure checkbox. We will leave the default unit weight. The following pressure distribution models are available for modeling water pressure on the joints. Peak pressure mid-height, peak pressure toe, peak pressure tension crack base, and custom pressure. To start, we will use the default peak pressure mid-height model. Change the percent filled to 75%. Select OK to close the dialog. Notice that the factor of safety decreases to 0 0.461528. As previously mentioned, there are four different plane water pressure distribution models in rock plane. The main difference between each model is the location of the peak water pressure. Refer to the rock plane help for more information on water pressure distribution models. Go back to the water tab and click on the Ponded Water Pressure checkbox. We will leave the default unit weight. There are two slope phase types in rock plane, which affect the way water pressure is computed in the failure plane and or tension crack. The slope phase type has no impact on the way in which ponded water pressure is calculated on the slopes. In the impervious case, the ponded water pressure is computed based on the water pressure distribution model selected and is completely independent of the ponded water depth. In the pervious case, the plain water pressure is computed based on the ponded water depth. For now, we will use the default impervious slope face type. Change the ponded water depth to 40 meters. Select OK to close the dialog. Notice that the factor of safety increases to 1.08187. In this case, the ponded water is acting as a stabilizing force on the wedge. Now change the slope phase type to pervious. The pressure distribution model for the plain water pressure is unavailable when pervious slope face type is selected. Select OK to close the dialog. Notice that the factor of safety decreases to 0 0.823745. The plain water pressure below the ponded water surface elevation is computed from the ponded water surface, while the plain water pressure above the ponded water surface elevation is computed from the joint water free surface. Examine the plain water pressure distribution in the 2D wedge view. Now let's perform a sensitivity analysis. Sensitivity analysis is a very useful feature of rock plane, which allows you to quickly determine the effect of any input variable on the safety factor. There are three water pressure related sensitivity analysis options ponded water depth, water unit weight, and water percent filled. We will focus on ponded water depth. Select the sensitivity option from the toolbar or the analysis menu. Select analysis, sensitivity. Select the first checkbox and select ponded water depth from the drop-down list of variables to plot. 
enter a range from zero to 100. Select OK. You will see a sensitivity plot of ponded water depth versus factor of safety. This concludes the Rock Plain Water Pressure Tutorial. <laughs>